Here's how to add any network to your MetaMask wallet. Get MetaMask wallet up. I'm just gonna click the extension right here, click on the three dots on the right hand side, and then click expand view, and that's gonna bring us to this main page. Now from here, we need to add networks. So go to settings right here, and then click settings on this drop down. And on the left hand side, you're gonna see networks. So click this, and you can see the networks page with all of the networks that I currently have set up. On the right hand side, we just wanna click add a network, and then you can see them here. Now, many networks are actually automatically right here for you to add. So if you see the network that you want to add, just literally click add, and it'll be added to your MetaMask. If the network you want to add isn't there, we can add it manually. So we're gonna come over to add a network manually here. And all we need to do is input these details of the network that we want to add. Well, how do we find those? Well, we can just choose the network that we wanna add and go and search for it. So if you are wanting to add BNB Chain, Polygon, Avalanche, Optimism, Arbitrum, we can go to the Blockchain Explorer and usually at the bottom of the page, we'll find an option to add this network to our MetaMask directly and it's gonna input all of the details for us. So you can see for BNB Chain, we have BSC Scan right here and I can click Add BSC Network. So what I'm gonna do is just click on this. It's going to load my MetaMask wallet and it says, do you want to allow to add this network to your MetaMask? You can approve this. It doesn't cost anything. Obviously it's completely free and that will be added to your MetaMask. There are some other ways to actually find these details though. So for example, if you just simply go to the main page of the blockchain, Polygon right here, this is not the Blockchain Explorer, but Polygon.technology, you can go to use Polygon, and then as you can see, add POS network to MetaMask. Again, it's gonna go through to this page. If you have multiple wallets set up, as you can see that I have here, you can choose which account to add it to. That doesn't matter. You just click on next and then click on add the network and it's gonna add that to your MetaMask and so you can use it across all of your wallets. So let's press cancel on that. We can also actually um, search in Google for the network that we want to add. So as you can see here, I've put how to add and then enter the chain that you wanna to add to MetaMask and it should come up with a bunch of articles. Choose a trusted source like Coindesk or Binance and it's gonna give you all of this information right here so you, that you can actually manually add the chain details yourself. So we'll add the details manually ourselves from an article on Binance Academy, a trusted source, and it gives us the BNB chain details right here. You can find these articles for every other chain that I've mentioned. So we need to enter the network name so we can put smart chain here. You can actually name this anything that you want. Now we need the RPC URL so we can go and copy and paste this. This is important, so make sure you copy paste uh, because this is the RPC that you'll be interacting with that actually lets you send those messages to the blockchain. We can see the chain ID here is 56, so we can input that. And then the currency is important as well because that's what you're paying gas in. So put BNB because that is the currency. Block Explorer as well, just copy paste this in. That is literally as simple as it gets. So you can paste that in and I've already got this added so it won't let me add it, but you can just press save right here and that saves the network. You can come out to the networks page again and you should be able to see the network that you've just added. If you click on it, you can see all of the details of each network right here and you can actually edit these as well. A very important note, if you are using blockchains generally and MetaMask, you actually interact with blockchains via this thing right here called an RPC. Now, some RPCs actually track your data and potentially your IP address too. This is important if you want to keep your transactions and your history as private as possible. You don't want RPCs tracking what you're doing. So you can actually choose one of multiple RPCs. Here's how to do that. Go to chainlist.org. I'll leave this link down in the description and you can choose from many different RPCs that you may want to use. You can see all of the different chains here. You can add them to your wallet easily and you can choose the RPC. If we, if we choose the drop down on the Ethereum mainnet, you can see a bunch of RPCs that are being run by different organizations worldwide you can see them ranked by the general score. The latency uh, lower is better and the privacy and if they track you and what they track. So you can use these as you wish and all you have to do is just copy the RPC URL, go back to your uh, MetaMask wallet and change the URL right here to the one that you want to use. I would also suggest using a VPN to mask your IP address whenever you're transacting on the blockchain, just to make sure that your transactions are as private as possible. I'll leave the one I use down in the description below as well. I'm James with MoneyZG, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.